Rejoice, ye penny-pinching nerds, rejoice! For this is a season unbound by our bank accounts, unfettered by fees. A legendary age of liberty, this is the Summer of Free! So uh, I want to share with you guys some free video game sites. Last summer was pretty heavy on video game stuff, uh, so I haven't been. I've tried to been. Uh, to, I've tried to showcase other kinds of uh, free media this summer, but uh, but man, I just couldn't resist because there is some really cool free video game stuff out there uh, that you guys can check out. And uh, mainly, what I'm going to be just talking about is sites, the kinds of sites as opposed to individual games. At least that was my original intention. I ended up on uh, several of these. Um, I think almost all of these sites finding some. Individual individual games that jumped out at me that I wanted to share just a l- just a few details with you but the main thing I want you to come away from uh, this segment with is the is the names the locations of a few sites where you can go and browse and you can go and spend some time uh, checking out all the different options that, that there are that are there for you for free entertainment you know the first one is desura.com and I got to thank my bro-in-law Sean Corbett Holly's uh, brother for pointing this one out to me desura that's uh, I might be mispronouncing it but it's d e s U R A D E S U R A dot com, Desura dot com, uh, and th- that's like a site that has a bunch of like indie games that you can buy and stuff. But you can also put the filter on there right at the top for free to only be looking at free games. Um, and uh, there are a few exceptions I ran into where there might be like some DLC you can buy or or you know something like that. But most of these games they're just out and out free. And no strings attached. So I would highly recommend checking out Desura.com. Here's just a few of the games I found as I was browsing. UFO Alien Invasion. And this looks like a uh, like an XCOM type of game, um, but completely free. It's the year 2084. You control a secret organization charged with defending Earth from a brutal alien invasion. Build up your bases, prepare your soldiers, and lead them to victory in turn-based tactical combat. Now, I want to say that the, the, the graphics have a very clean and basic look to them. Um, but I've, 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 and I've not played this game myself. I didn't have time to, you know, play all these games. I'm just kind of highlighting the ones that looked good to me or that I've heard good things about. And this is one that I've, that I've uh, heard in reviews is a solid, solid free gaming experience. So UFO Invasion, if you're a fan of XCOM and uh, you want to scratch that itch, but you've already done the XCOM stuff or you want to wait a little while before you do, check out UFO Alien Invasion. Uh, the next game I found at Desura.com is Hacknet. And this is a terminal-based hacking game, hacking simulator. Uh, and I played a, a similar game that I bought on GOG, G-O-G dot com, um, and that, that basically you're, you're sitting down and it's, you're, you're, they're creating an interface for you to give you the simulation of experiencing life as a hacker, you know? And this one is definitely more flashy and interesting visually than, uh, than, um, than Uplink. Uh, Hacknet, a uh, completely free terminal-based hacking game following the story of a recently deceased hacker named Bit, whose death may not have been the accident the media reports. LAN multiplayer allows you to go head-to-head hacking competitively if you want to compromise the other player's computer first. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, check out Hacknet. Then Flare. This one I've known about for a while. I don't think I've mentioned it on the Summer of Free, but it's definitely on my bucket list to check out. It's a single-player 2D action RPG. Again, it's called Flare. Uh, the, uh, the, the little blurb for it on uh, Desura says, Flare is not a re-implementation of an existing game or engine. It is a tribute to and exploration of the action RPG genre. Um, from what I've seen of it, from videos, from screenshots, it clearly seems to be inspired by the early Diablo games. It's got nice retro third-person fixed perspective graphics uh, though I gotta say it is visually uncreative but there seems to be a lot going on in this game in terms of depth there's looting there looks like there's some cool still sk- skills uh, like I saw in a, in a video of this game someone doing like a, a stealth attack on somebody like cool I don't I don't even think the early Diablo games had stealth mechanics and uh, there's there's equipment that you can upgrade and stuff so so it looks like you know if you're in it for like that kind of the mechanics of that experience of, of upgrading of looting of of, of having like kind of skill trees and stuff like that that you can develop um, and, and you kind of you know like those Diablo style games but you want something free to hold you over just a little while longer while you save up to uh, you know to get that big release game go check out Flare Flare uh, and then the last game at Desura that caught my eye was Evolution RTS Evolution RTS 
the description reads, A new war is brewing, a violent conflict between the six colonies, each one convinced that it was in the right, each one sure of its own ability to defeat its enemies. But they need generals, they need soldiers, they need you. Now this one looks pretty good uh, graphically, actually, for a free game. Um, it may not be for those new to the RTS genre, though. From what I understand, it's it doesn't have like a... Uh, it's just not great a great game for newcomers to the genre. But, I mean, if you're already familiar with the RTS genre, you're looking for a free option that does not have any strings attached, like uh, many of the free-to-play RTSs that you're going to find out there, go check out Evolution RTS. Again, at Desura, D-E-S-U-R-A dot com. Another website that caught my attention is freewaregames.net. Freewaregames.net. Dot net. Uh, and there you can get, among many, many other games, uh, you can get uh, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun and the expansion for it. Uh, now this is, you know, in its day, it was a, you know, a, like a, a proper, you might even say triple A release um, from EA Games. EA still owns the IP to this, but uh, a, a little while ago, I don't know if it was years or, or how long ago, but they actually released this for free it's for it to be, you know, just kind of freeware out there online. So this is not like that quote-unquote abandonware, which you know, I think in many cases it's just kind of this kind of term that people made up to feel good about, you know, uh, copying games and playing games that they really legally should not be playing. No, this is totally legit. Uh, EA put this out there for free. So if you're a fan of uh, RTSs or if you maybe want to explore RTSs for the first time, this is one of the original um, uh, entries uh, of, this is an, an entry, I should say, in one of the original RTS series uh, that came out. And uh, I haven't played any of the Command & Conquer games because I'm like, I'm I'm like a hardcore nerd. I, you know, I, 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 gaming isn't enough for me. The gaming itself has to have nerd themes. So it has to be sci-fi, it has to be fantasy. I can't just play a normal war video game. There's got to be lasers. There have to be aliens and weird pussy things that squirt out of bad guys or whatever. It's got to be something. So and T and and uh, Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun um, is a is a futuristic installment of the Command and Conquer series, which is traditionally like a normal kind of like modern war type of game. Uh, but this one takes it into the future, so you get some futuristic weapons and vehicles and cool stuff like that. Uh, and then also, if you're if you're uh, in a retro mood beyond that, and you want to scratch a fantasy itch, you might be aware that Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall uh, has been available and out there for free uh, legally for a. Uh, number of years and you can get Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall also at freewaregames.net if you want to try your hand at uh, kind of really the, the proper origins of of Elder Scrolls. I mean there was Elder Scrolls 1 which is like Elder Scrolls I want to say like Arena or something like that um, but that didn't really introduce from what I understand kind of the questing elements the exploration and questing uh, elements that the, the, the series is known for that was first introduced in Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall I believe so uh, if you're if you were thinking that Morrowind was really the, the the beginning of the the questing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you might want to try out Daggerfall, Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall at freewaregames.net. That one, uh, you know, I will forewarn you though. I mean, it's pretty. It's like the original Doom era of graphics. So lots and lots of jaggies, folks. <laughs> Someone out there is working on like a mod for Daggerfall, but it's still it's really in development right now. So I mean, it's um, as far as I know, I'm I, I'm not even sure it's playable or released in any kind of playable form. But uh, you know, maybe you just be interested in killing some time looking into that. Go check. Check out uh, the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall and then go searching out the mod community because there is something going on. I just don't know how far along in development it is. It's been a while since I looked at that. But uh, anyway, uh, and then uh, just uh, just uh, three more games that I'll highlight really quickly um, that are not uh, on, you know, these game collection sites. So again, as far as game collection sites for free games, desura.com and freewaregames.net, but just kind of miscellaneously online. Uh, one game I ran into is called Zero K, and you can find this at zero-k.info. Zero, and I should say that's spelled out, Z-E-R-O-K dot info and this is a cool looking game it's an rts um the graphics and the visual design they're definitely not on par with you know say like a starcraft 2 uh but but it's still very thematic and nice looking very good music as well it fits the frontier vibe uh, the, the space frontier vibe nicely uh this one i have played i have put some some play time into this lots of options for factories for units uh defense mechanisms uh, there's both multiplayer and single player scenarios available for free um though not a ton for someone looking 
strictly for solo play. Uh, it also has a few tutorials that do a decent job of getting you acquainted with how to do things, but a lousy job of teaching you what you should do and why. Uh, in other words, this is a game that RTS players may really discover is a gem in the world of free open source gaming. But those new to the real-time strategy genre, I think, will feel lost and uh, will be offered very little help with 0K. Again, that's 0 K. Dot info. Then there's Taj of Maj Eyal. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother spelling that for you. Go to te4.org. Pretty short, easy to remember. te4, the number four, dot org. te4.org. Tales of Maj Eyal. It looks like it started out as, as a Tales of Middle Earth game. I'm guessing they've changed it because of IP related problems, but uh, I checked this out. It's a free open source roguelike RPG featuring tactical turn based combat and advanced character building. The description says that you, you can play as one of many unique races and classes in the lore filled world of Eyal, exploring random dungeons, facing challenging battles, and developing characters with your own tailored mix of abilities and powers. With a modern graphical, and customizable interface, intuitive mouse control, streamlined mechanics, and deep, challenging combat. Tales of Majayal offers engaging roguelike gameplay for the 21st century. Again, these are not my thoughts on the game. I haven't played it. Um, but uh, the, the, this is the description of uh, uh, th that they offer on the site. Um, so I'll continue on reading. The continent of Majayal lives in a relative peace. After millennia of war, the orcs are extinct, the advanced races have allied together, and the evils of magic have been repressed. But there are still untamed forests, cursed lands, marauding bandits, sealed dungeons of undead, and whispers spread of hidden cults of mages. Some even say the orcs are not all dead and muster their strength in dark places. You are an adventurer, seeking your fortune in the open world, investigating ruins and mysteries in search of riches and powers. Explore a continent still scarred by the terrible spell blaze from ages past, teeming with wild beasts, monsters, trolls, and giants. Delve through dark dungeons infested by armies of undead, demonic monstrosities, and hideous horrors. Uncover world-changing secrets from relics of the ancient and all-powerful Sher Tool race to veiled cities of magic and concealed psionic beings. Fight with skill and care against undying necromancers, towering dragons, primeval forces, arcane demons, and world-threatening powers. Take part in an epic fantasy adventure like no other, engaging both your imagination and your intelligence, demanding thought and attention to succeed. Winner of the Roguelike of the Year Award 2010, 2011, and 2012, Tales of Majayal is backed by constant development and an active, friendly community that have together invested over 340 years of total playtime. 281 players are playing right now. Why not join them? Wow! That's a lengthy description. But I, I gave some extra time to that because I am not... <laughs> I, I've always wanted to be a fan of roguelike games, but I, you know I just can't do the ASCII graphics or the A S C I I or however you say that. Um, I, I just can't do it. I can't. You know I, I need visuals. I need some kind of visual representation. You know that's at least halfway decent. That's at least kind of in that 16-bit era or maybe even the 8-bit era I could take. But give me something, man. <laughs> but my understanding is that roguelike games, there's just so much depth to them that they, you know they can be very punishing. But that. But there's a lot going on in there for uh, RPG fans, if you don't mind dying now and then. Um, and so if I was going to try out a roguelike game, it, it would definitely be this one. I was not planning on, you know, I was, I was planning on sharing, you know, information about a roguelike game with you because I knew this one was a roguelike. But I, what, was I, what I was not expecting was, was reading up on this game and discovering that, wow, I think I want to play this game. Um, so this one is definitely on my bucket list the next time I am uh, I, I am in need of some uh, fantasy gaming. Again, Tales of Maj Eyal can be found at te4.org. number four, te four dot org. And then lastly, Adventure Quest. Now this is a game that I've been playing for years and uh, I mean, I haven't played it for years but for years I did play it. <laughs> and I've still got my account. I logged on when I was uh, kind of looking into this again. And um, I believe it was Katya from the Netherlands that uh, that, that uh, gave us a review of Adventure Quest Worlds, which is kind of like the MMO version of Adventure Quest. Uh, but I've never really, we've never really talked about Adventure Quest itself on, on the podcast. And Adventure Quest uh, is a Flash-based um, Japanese RPG-style 
game. And it's very basic, you know, I mean, the flash graphics are not like mind blowing and stuff like that, but it's kind of like this, you know, you can play it as either like a lunch break RPG, which I think they used to, to kind of market it as this is the lunch break RPG, you know, you just you just you just fire it up on your browser, and you just fight a few monsters, and then you put it down, you log off, and it stores your character online and all that stuff like you would expect from a flash game. Um, but it's a lot of fun, you can really develop your character with all these different classes, learn all these different spells and abilities. There's just a ton that you can do in this little flash based uh, uh, RPG and it's uh, it's uh, turn based like JRPGs are you know and uh, f- feels in some ways very much like Final Fantasy. You just control the one character though, but there's a lot of customization options in terms of how you look, in terms of your armor, and and this one is completely free. Now what I would say is that uh, when you're playing the free game, I don't know how popular this game is now. Um, I didn't create a free account to test this out, but uh, you're not always guaranteed that you can get on. If the servers are all full and active, then you might have to try again later to get on. Um, um, but that, the last time I, I experienced that was years and years and years ago when this one was new and when this company had not made any other Flash-based games. Now they've got like, I, I want to say like at least three other Flash-based games that I think are really pretty hot and, and the people are very active on them. So, you know, the, the servers might not be as crowded for Adventure Quest anymore. Um, but anyway, I would highly recommend checking it out. If you do end up um, spending money on it, there's not a lot of potential to sink money into this. I want to say that... I spent maybe $15 on this. It was a one-time buy-in so that you become like you get guardian status and I think you got some free things and every once in a while there's free op- there's little options or armor and stuff that you can potentially get if you're a guardian but but the main appeal for me of being a guardian at the time was that you can you're always guaranteed to be able to get on the servers um, so uh, so at most I think the, the most you're going to spend on this game is $15 you're probably not going to spend any money on this game ever I wasn't I, I played it for a long time before before I spent money on it so um, anyway yeah I would check out Adventure Quest at Battle on.com. I know that's stupid. It should be adventurequest.com, but it's not. It's battleon.com. Christian Geek Central.com.